So what can you show us that as a demonstration oh, yeah. of what you can now do? Here we go. This is uh, the link app. This is how I control everything. Um, this is the app that they've uploaded um, onto my computer that lets me control the cursor. Um, this is my devotional that I've been reading. Um, all so bear in mind, this guy is doing this with his mind using Neuralink. Neuralink. A chip connected to his brain. Um, this is my devotional that I've been reading um, all the time, uh, every day. And then this is me playing chess. Um, so wait a minute. Are... You're moving the cursor. You're moving the cursor, Nolan, just by thinking about where you want it to go, or is it your eyes? Uh, no, it's it's just me thinking about wherever I want it to go. <laughs> oh, man. So yeah, you're not so, even tracing it with your eyes. You're just looking at it. Nope. I can move it, and I can move the cursor around, whatever I would like to do. Um, I don't have to be staring at it at all. Uh, I mean, it's So he doesn't have to stare at the cursor in order to move it there. Okay, I'm trying to think, how am I staring my cursor? Can I? Of course, I can watch over there and stare it over there. But I still kind of have to see the cursor in my, whatever it's called, periphery. Periphery, whatever it's called. But if I don't see it, it's going to be very hard for me to. So he can kind of, he can still move it without looking at it. Oh, man. So yeah, you're not so, even tracing it with your eyes. You're just looking at it. Nope. I can move it and I can move the cursor around, whatever I would like to do. Um, I don't have to be staring at it at all. Uh, I mean, it's it's amazing. There's not even words to describe. Yeah, there's not even words to describe how amazing this tech is. Yeah, I mean, this is good if it couldn't be misused, which it definitely can, which I definitely believe it will. Uh, somebody will hack your brain and you're not in control of yourself anymore and things like that. That is the problem with this, you know? Otherwise it would have been a good thing, but you know there will be some kind of a remote app that somebody can just log into and then override your brain and then do shit to you in your brain and make you do stuff that you don't want to do. Now this is on a, a paralyzed person, but let's say normal people put them mind chip the neural link inside of them and they're you know they can walk and stuff like that then you can literally create human robots you take over their mind